Thank you. Uh, Nikolai, uh, sir, only one year after the first chapters have been opened, uh, we have now an impressive balance of 18 chapters open, of which 10 have already been provisionally closed. Uh, and this is a very good achievement. It's actually more than that. This is the fastest any candidate country has moved since 2006 when we adopted the renewed consensus on enlargement. This result is a proof of a firm commitment uh, by the Icelandic government and the European Union to the accession process. It's a vote of confidence to the enlargement. Also, oh, I'm, I'm using your words, uh, and I'm grateful for those words. Uh, let me, in this context, express my sincere thanks to the Danish presidency and to the member states for their constructive uh, uh, work. I'm very satisfied that Iceland has progressed uh, uh, so far at a good speed on the way uh, to the European Union membership. It is clear that accession is a demanding process and its pace depends on how well Iceland will be able to demonstrate that it can eventually make itself ready for European Union membership in all areas. Negotiations are entering uh, more challenging territory now. More challenging chapters come to the table. And I'm confident that with continuous good cooperation, we will be able to tackle the challenges ahead and to move forward to our common goal. And this is important for people to understand. Uh, the whole negotiation is not only about how to adopt the European Union ACI but it's also about increasing the understanding between us of the priorities, key interests and needs on either side. Such understanding is necessary to allow us to take into account Icelandic specifics while respecting the principles of the European Union. To achieve this, it is also important to sustain and nurture the public debate on membership in Iceland and enable the people to make an informed choice. At the end of the day, it is up to the Icelanders to decide upon accession. Thank you.